good job. It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So we're going to check out WWE Top 20 Emotional Moments in History. There's those few times where, like, I, I, I don't know how to say it. I wouldn't say breaking character, like maybe the wrestler break character, but something you can see the real person there. You, you don't see the character of, like, the version of themselves that they're playing. You see the real person. You see the real emotions. And those moments be some of the best pure moments to see um sometimes it's you know to you know maybe create a feud or sometimes something serious happened and they want to just talk to us as a person as a human being not the character and um it is it creates some memorable emotional and powerful moments so we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support road to 7k and let's get right into this one Dig it, sucker! Back there. But listen here, addict Eddie Guerrero. I really hope you are addicted. About three years ago, Holmes, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Vato, in the shower in the locker room. Oh man, I was high, bro. They carried me out of that arena and they carried me straight into rehab. They didn't do that. I did that to myself. I lost my wife, I lost my kids, and I lost myself. I disgraced my race. I disgraced my family. It was do or die, Holmes. I had to make a decision. You know what I said? I did. Because I'm here right now. Day by day, by the grace of God, I have earned the Eddie. respect. I'm going to get the bikes that they wanted. I'm going to give them a better education. That's my way of telling my family i'm sorry i'm addicted to the high that i get from them oh man missy eddie you can stick it up your ass good promo I'm addicted to the do or die feeling home become the wwe champion Orale, Vato. A fired up love it man I'm grateful for all of you. He did deserve below it. the heavens. I just wish his title run was better booked. That's really what it was. It, it, it was very underwhelming. A lot of you have said, and I do agree. But at the time, he did deserve it. And I was hoping they were going to, you know what I'm saying, at least give him something better to really represent, you know, the dub as the WWE champion. You know, and, and I appreciate what they did with Paul Heyman trying to hype him up and really give him that 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 extra push as a legitimate champion. But ultimately, once again, if WWE does not book you correctly, it doesn't matter, you know, saying, you know, the original hype of you becoming a champion. What matters in a title championship reign is really the booking. How they book you, the storytelling, the matches you have. That's what people will remember. You know what I'm saying? So. And one incredible friend above. Rest in peace. This was a sad moment, too. I watched this live. Oh, man. This was such a such a sad moment though oh my getting God. that kind of reaction from all of you people ah this gets me bro. i get to share that with them i get to share it with you i get to share it with my wife in the back i am grateful I'm the loser that was a fantastic promo bro when he had to retire from wrestling watching it live bro definitely almost teared up uh, it, it it was one of the most powerful moments because he was trying to keep it together because he knew, you know what I'm saying, he couldn't compete, you know what I'm saying, anymore. WWE wasn't going to let him compete anymore. But ultimately, he was able to. He was able to find a way, and, and now look at him now in AEW. I love it. Uh, tonight's match will no longer be in the WWE. Do it, Punk! He's the winner! Uh, we miss you, Jeff, even now. In the future. Thank you all.
This is great. This is great too. Their series of matches was fantastic. Oh, goosebump inducing. ECW was a different breed when it came to wrestling. He's getting emotional. <laughs> like they ECW fans have always and will forever be extremely loyal. showed that uh that i have to uh, retire this was so i watched this live too and it is so crazy how life works he's come full circle and he's back and putting on some of the best work he's ever done in his career i'm not gonna lie to you if there's one person that i would like to see to have one more run with the trap uh trap with the the strap the wwe championship or maybe the Universal Championship. I would love to see Edge get one more run with it. I, I I don't think anyone, I don't think a lot of people would complain with that. Just one more run, if possible. If not, that's fine. But I, I would love to see it maybe one day, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. If you ask me if I'd do it again, in a heartbeat. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Not so much the pain that you receive from the ring, but from the pain that you've shared with your family. And that person for me was Diamond Dallas Page. Mm. I didn't care anymore, man. I was doing drugs every day, alcohol every day. I didn't <laughs> want to live. Right there. Bring him, bring him up here. In 20 years of WrestleMania 50, this kid will be there. Thank you for letting me play the game. He sold that promo too. He sold that promo too, man. The tears. That was a cool moment too. Wow, this is giving me good feels. Rest in peace, Eddie, man. It was okay, okay to express show your expression ah oh, man bro thank you from my heart because what you bring to the world wrestling federation what's going through your head I know you're just as disappointed. And they chant uh, Sid's name, and they chant Brett's name, and they chant a lot of people's names. Time where toughness is real big here in the World Wrestling Federation. I don't have any toughness for anybody. Um, is go back home and see what's left for me, and I have to go back and I have to find my mm -hmm. smile because mm -hmm. somewhere along the line, the infamous, I lost it. Whether you like me or not. The infamous, I lost my smile. He, he stepped away for a while. He did. I, I just want to tell you that uh, last year was the most wonderful year of my life. As being the number one guy in this business, I'm going to go home now. Okay? The Edge in Kansas City.
we will have a two-hour tribute to the life of Owen Hart. I said I'd be a fighting champion. I yeah, said that was a sad moment as well in his in wrestling history. Um, mainly because of just you know that whole situation, him, you know, passing away in that way at the show. You know, pretty much. You know, you know he you know later was pronounced um, uh, dead at the hospital. But it's just you know you don't expect that. You don't think that's gonna happen at at a WWE event. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's just just one of those type of things where you just you know sit up there and uh, you know. Yeah, it hit different. So, uh, yeah. I was gonna be consistent, and I said I was gonna be a workhorse, but that's all lies. And I've been living with leukemia for 11 years, and I'm gonna have to relinquish the Universal Championship. When I was 22 years old, I was diagnosed with this. I didn't have any money. I didn't have a home, and I had a baby on the way. And football was done with me. The team that gave me a chance was the WWE. This was a, a pretty powerful moment as well. Watched it live. And one of, it was one of the few times he actually got a real reaction. One of the very few times. Because the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels has left the building. Ah oh, man, <laughs> just, this this whole segment was really good by Mark Henry. He really sold this. I believed every word he said, and then him switching like that was fantastic. Easily one of the best promos he's ever given. Easily that I'm out here to formally retire. A small town, Silsby, Texas boy, done proud. Baby, I'm coming home. <laughs> You believe, just like John Cena and them people believe. I had y'all all fool, y'all a bunch of puppets. So tonight, we celebrate the life of Eddie Guerrero. As we toll the bell ten times, after which there'll be a... And you can, bro, look at, look at Chris Benoit. He's hurting. That was someone really, his best friend, someone real close to him. And, bro, it, it, he was never the same after that. He wasn't. He just, there was... There was, you know, I, I wish he would have got the help. He could have, you know, he needed because he was never really the same. Once Eddie was gone, he wasn't the same. Special video presentation. Viva la Rasta! Ah, man, this is so sad, bro. So emotional, bro. This, uh, it's I the, will never ever still gets me. wrestle in this ring again. If you think that the millions of people. Ah. Uh, this was a powerful moment, too. Him retiring from. Him, re him retiring from wrestling in WWE. Such a powerful moment. And this right here. A lot of people thought it was, he was he was done.
once he like left his gloves and stuff in the ring, I was like, oh, he's done. And then he ended up coming back. <laughs> you know, we thought he was done, but it was, it was still a powerful moment. And sometimes wrestling, you have these powerful, impactful moments that you'll never forget. It will always you'll hold dear. And you know, sometimes it's not about what's happening. You know the characters in ring it's about the the individual the person themselves that's playing that character you know what I'm saying showing themselves to us as real people because they are you know what I'm saying they have real emotions they go through real you know real things that me and you go through it each and every day so comment down below let me know what was the most emotional part of this video that really touched you the most it will always be the Eddie Eddie Guerrero one that that hits that hits man that that one is very, very impactful, and and you know how, you know it just it just sucked, you know, it, it, it really was unfortunate that we lost him, a, a great person, fantastic wrestler, uh, another one that stands up there is the Daniel Bryan one. That one was really impactful as well. But appreciate all the love and support. Road to Sammy K. Appreciate y'all keeping with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.